it's so funny because there's so many trees out here and there's creeks and everything makes you just want to dive right in and take a bath in the creek that's how like clean this water looks and it's, it's the mountain air it makes it look so clean so i want to say this trail is really technical but definitely rocky yeah so i kind of lied Tin cup pass well it is a little bit technical but nothing terribly difficult now don't let the camera fool you there is a few things to know about number one the scenery is definitely breathtaking and you know sadly like all other videos camera never does justice and i kind of wish i knew the science behind it but anyways number two and parts of these trails does get a bit steep and the rocks out gonna say it's a pretty uh, decent size so I will not call Tint Cup Pass exactly beginner friendly so you got some steepness you got some fairly large rocks and yep you guessed it the KLX 250 so let's see how it performs me I tossed it to the shore but you gotta give a gas to put it in there <laughs> and it being really rocky but scenery jeez man i bet your gopro never does justice with that scenery in the background this is this is awesome made it to the summit oh yeah made it to the summit of take up pass made it to the summit yeah 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 this place is beautiful i love this place Ooh. I think so too. So passing the summit of Tin Cup Pass starts to definitely get more rocky and a bit more technical. But trust me when I say the camera makes it look really flat. So anyhow, the KLX 250 did great on it, but of course it was mostly on first gear ride all the way through the beginning due to the elevation climb and also being up so high. It did have enough power to tackle its way through, but once I put the KLX 250 to its test, like Mount Antero and Baldwin Lakes, this is where the KLX 250 did not shine at all. But that is a whole new video for another day. Anyhow, crossing the lake eventually leads to the Tin Cup town, which is freaking awesome. Definitely something to look at. They have small cafes and gift shops and other places to eat. This place is definitely awesome because they really thrive on OHV riders. This is mostly where they get their income from. Once at the town, you have the option of going back the way you came from or completing a huge loop out heading towards Hancock Pass, but I will leave that video for another day. Hancock Pass is definitely a bit more rocky and I'm gonna say a little bit technical, but I will not call it hard for someone who has been riding it, riding OHV for quite some time. This is steep. 